Hey guys, it's Teresa. Welcome back to my den. Today we are going to have a story time and we're also going to have a spring haul. Now, picture this. <laughs> I am going through all of my things out of my closet in our den and I told you guys in one of my videos that I tend to do this when the season is about to change and I'll link that video somewhere. I'll put in a card or something so you can check that out. But basically, I usually go through my closet which is right off of our den and I just kind of have clothes everywhere. So I'm in the middle of going through all of my things and I'm washing some clothes, I'm going through my closet, getting ready things that I don't need anymore. And then I hear my husband upstairs and he's practicing, he was actually playing the piano. So I decide to go upstairs with him and start playing bass. So I go upstairs and start playing bass with him and we're just playing around. And we were kind of loud so we didn't hear anything going on downstairs in our basement area. And then so we finally stop and I'm like hearing water, just pouring water. So I look out the window, I'm like, oh man, it's raining. And I painted something earlier that day. So I didn't want it to be raining outside because what I painted was going to be messed up. And so I look outside through the window and it's not raining. And I'm like, I hear water. So our basement, y'all, our basement was flooded. Like there was water everywhere all over our den all over the music room all over my office in the laundry room in the bathroom right next to the laundry room everywhere and it was really deep it was maybe like two or three inches deep at least so long story short i ended up losing i'll say right at 50 percent of my spring clothes that i was going through at the time because there was so much water that they were just soaked through and through. Some of them were still kind of dry. Most of them were soaking wet. I ended up dealing with mildew and I was just so worried that I wouldn't be able to just get all the mildew and stuff out of the clothes. And then I couldn't wash because the reason that everything was messed up is because earlier while I was washing that day, I pulled up on one of the pipes, like the connecting pipe, and I disconnected it without thinking. And that's why water was everywhere. So I couldn't wash the clothes. I just, I had to get rid of them. That's my story time. Had to get rid of most of my clothes. And now I'm having to repurchase things for the spring and summertime. And I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I don't typically wear pants. I might wear like leggings or something, but I don't usually wear jeans and stuff like that. I'm just like a skirts and a dress type of girl. And it's really hard to find cute skirts and cute dresses, but... I'm taking my time with it and as I find things, I'm gonna just buy them. With that being said, I do have some things that I wanna share with you guys. I picked up some clothing items from Rue 21, from City Trends, and I also went by our thrift store. I'm just gonna show you guys the few things that I got and I guess I'll start with the thrift store items because they're not in bags. I got this t-shirt right here and I thought that it was really cute in the summertime t-shirts are really a staple for me because I love pairing them with skirts they look really cute and it's easy to dress them up so I got this t-shirt and this is a t-shirt from Orange Beach and I thought that it would be really great because usually that's where we end up going on vacation is at Orange Beach because it's the beach in Alabama and we will be visiting there pretty soon actually so I went ahead and got this t-shirt and the color was really nice the next t-shirt I got was from Gap or it's made by Gap and it's just this peachy coral color with gray and I thought that this was really nice too just something I could throw on with a skirt and some sandals I love the way it fits it has a really nice fit without being too overbearing or you know too tight or anything like that so I really thought this was cute and keeping in the coral family I got another gap t-shirt and it's just a regular scoop neck t-shirt again something that I can just throw on and go about my business now those three t-shirts were on clearance at my thrift store and the way that my thrift store does clearance is certain colors on certain days are only 59 cent so I only paid 59 cent each for those t-shirts. And I also got a skirt for 59 cent. This is the skirt right here. 
it's not too short and I really like the faux pockets in the front and they have real pockets in the back and for me I have to have skirts that have a belt loop on them because it just kind of cinches everything in and it makes the skirt fit me a lot better and this skirt comes about to my knee and I really like that too so that when I sit down it's not too too short and I also like the color on these I'm a really deep jean girl most of the time I've been trying to venture out and you're you're gonna see that in a minute but I still like the color on these on this <laughs> I still like the color on this little skirt here and then I was lucky enough to find a jean dress and it's really hard for me to find jean dresses that aren't too big or aren't too short and this one is made by Old Navy I actually only paid five dollars for this it has the little snaps in the front and it also has two pockets in the front and there aren't any pockets or anything on the back and this also hits about knee length and I thought that this was really nice. I can just wear this by itself, throw it on, run to the store, or this will be really comfortable for vacation or a barbecue or anything. I've really been searching for a blue jean dress like this for a long time and I'm really glad that I finally found it. Next, I'll go ahead and show you guys the things that I got from Rue 21. Now, I'm not really sure if Rue 21 is nationwide and I gotta be honest, their clothing quality is not that great. I typically don't pay more than $5 for something from Rue 21 because I just don't think it's worth the money. Um, so all of these items were on clearance and I believe they were about $3 for each item. It may have been less than that. Let me see. Yep, $3. It was, um, everything was on sale for $3. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, and then I did get this little... Um, purse thing for my niece this was only a dollar it was on sale so I got that for her and then I picked up some basics I love having basics to just wear and these are some sleeveless t-shirt types and I thought that the chevron print on this shirt was really really cute I love the coral the mint green and the dark blue so I got this one and this is just gonna be another staple that I have for the spring and summer and then I got another coral shirt, and this is a sleeveless one. Now, the fabric is really, really soft, and I really love this. And I'm probably going to go back and get a couple of more of these in just like white and gray and things like that. But I actually bought these when me and Steven were in St. Louis on a business trip, and they didn't have a lot of basic, basic colors. But I'm going to check out the Route 21 near our house and see if they have some. And to go with that coral shirt, I picked up this skirt. And this is actually a wintertime skirt, but I think that it would go good for the spring and summer because of the colors. It has mint and white, dark blue, and the coral, just like the shirt I just showed you, actually. But I wouldn't pair those two things together because that would be just too much busy going on. But I do think that this would be really good with just this plain top here and another throw on outfit to just kind of lounge around in or go over to somebody's house for a barbecue or just go shopping something like that and these are the type of things that i really need in my wardrobe right now lastly i went to city trends <laughs> and um we just stopped at city trends i was with my sisters and one of my sisters needed like a cheap pair of sandals or shoes or something just at that time and so we went in there and we started looking around city trends is another one of those places that i really don't shop at that often but i was really glad that we went because i found some skirts that i would never find anywhere else like it's really really hard to find skirts that are kind of different you know and so I found a couple of skirts in there and here is the first one that I got and this is like um a bleach wash skirt and it comes down to my knee I really love how this looks it has the belt loops and it also has two pockets in the back this skirt was $9.99 it wasn't on sale or anything. The regular price is just $9.99. And typically, I wouldn't pay $10 for a skirt. But when you're out shopping with your sisters, they will talk you into buying stuff. Let me tell you. <laughs> so they would not let me walk out of the store without getting these skirts because they knew that I needed skirts. And they know that I'm cheap. So they just encouraged me to get this skirt. 
And the next skirt I got is a acid wash. And this is really stepping out of my comfort zone because there are no belt loops in this skirt. It just has like an elastic band, but it also has the two pockets in the back. I do like that. And this is long as well, comes down to my knees. And I really like that it. all of these skirts have that length because I don't like skirts that don't have the length that I need on it. I really need length so that when I sit down, I'm not showing all of my goodness. And this skirt was $10.99, not on sale. Regular price is just $10.99. So I really like this skirt as well. The last skirt I got from City Trends is this one, and it's a flare skirt, and it's in this really pretty royal blue. This is a skirt that I would wear for church, and it's also pretty long, and I love these type of skirts because it really gives my hips a little more definition because I'm a slender person, and I love buying skirts that kind of flare out a little bit. So it makes me look a bit larger than what I am in real life. And so I thought that this was really pretty and I got this for $9.99 as well. And the last thing I got from City Trends were a pair of shoes. And here they are. They are just a pair of basic nude wedges. And I love that it had these studs on the front. And these are actually pretty comfortable because they're not that tall. And for those of you who don't know, my husband is only about four inches taller than I am. So I can't wear really, really high heels, but I do find a way around that. And I can wear a heel that's about two or three inches high. So this is perfect. And I got these shoes Y'all, I got these shoes for only $2. They were on clearance for $2. And my oldest sister was with me. And she was like, I just bought those shoes for regular price. Uh-uh, I'm bringing them back. <laughs> so I got these for $2. And I was really, really happy to find these. Um, it's hard for me to find shoes like this to wear like dressy because most wedges are so tall and if I wore a really tall wedge, I'd be crazy tall compared to Steven. So I think that these will be a winner for the spring and summer. Yep. That's all I have right now, you guys. If I buy anything else, like I mentioned earlier, I will take a picture of those items and share it with you either on Instagram or if I have enough things, I will just do another haul and show you guys that. Thanks for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos that I share about budgets or fashion or things like that. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.